we're going to look at rewriting exponentials with a different base because we're going to need to be able to do this for working with exponential equations. So if we're asked to rewrite 1 over 16 to the power of negative 3 as 2 to the, six, 2 to the power of something, how will we go about doing it? Well, we'll start off with 1 over 16 to the power of negative 3 and we know we've got to get it into the form where we've got the number 2 as the base. So the first thing we hopefully recognize is 16 can just be rewritten as 2 to the power of 4. So where there was a 16, we'll put a 2 to the power of 4. Now we know 1 over 2 to the power of 4 is just the same as 2 to the negative 4. And we can apply our exponential rule, which says then that we have 2 to the negative 4 times negative 3 which will be 2 to the power of 12. If we work out 2 to the power of 12, we'll get 4096. But that isn't actually what we were asked to do. We were just simply asked to rewrite it as 2 to the something. So it is 2 to the 12. They could just as well have asked us to rewrite it as 4 to the power of something. And our process will be very similar. We'll recognize 16 as 4 squared. We then recognize we can write 4 squared as 4 to the minus 2. And then we apply our exponent rule and we'll get 4 to the power of 6. That is 4096, but we didn't really mind what the actual final answer is because what they asked us to do was simply to rewrite it as 4 to the power of something. So we can leave it there. Now we've just seen that 1 16 to the negative 3 can be written as 2 to the 12 and it can be written as 4 to the 6. So obviously 2 to the 12 and 4 to the 6 must be equal to each other. Just want to show you how we can see that 2 to the 12 and 4 to the 6 must be equal to each other in another way. 4 to the 6, you know 4 is just the same as 2 squared. So 4 to the 6 is the same as 2 squared to the 6. And 2 squared to the 6, if we apply our exponent rule, is 2 to the... 2 times 6, it's 2 to the 12. So we can see, just in another way, 4 to the 6 is the same as 2 to the 12. You'll have noticed that the fact that I knew immediately that 16 is 2 to the 4 and 16 is also 4 squared really helped me to do those last two examples. So if you actually start to recognize some of the powers of 2 and powers of 3, it will actually help you get faster at this. Um, and so I suggest that you take this list I've got here. It's not a comprehensive list, but it certainly is a few of the most commonly appearing ones. And you actually become very familiar with it. So, for example, one, you know that you can rewrite as 2 to the 0. You can rewrite it as 3 to the 0, 4 to the 0, 5 to the 0, 6 to the 0, etc, etc. 4 is 2 squared. 8 is... 2 cubed, 9 is 3 squared, 16 is 2 to the 4, but it's also 4 squared, 27 is 3 cubed, 32 is 2 to the 5, 64 is 2 to the 6, but it's also 4 cubed, and 81 is 3 to the power of 4, but it's also 9 squared. So really worth just becoming very familiar with these. It'll make your life a lot easier.